Now, there's no question about it. Human beings are imperfect. We often make mistakes, and sadly, some of us tend to be repeat offenders. And while forgiveness can sometimes be hard to do, I, for one, have been someone who's been known for holding grudges against people who have wronged me in the past. And all it's really done for me is brought me nothing but pain and suffering. And while I was working with my life coach last year, she introduced me to this really cool exercise that really taught me how to swallow my pride and essentially taught me the art of forgiveness. I'll admit, I haven't quite mastered the technique yet. It, it's still a work in progress. And in fact, not to toot my own horn, but I've made significant improvements since last year. Forgiveness is essential to your spiritual and personal growth. But on the flip side, it's also equally essential for you to be able to sincerely apologize. People just seem to have a hard time saying sorry or admitting when they're wrong. I'm sometimes guilty of this. I am getting better. For instance, whenever me and my girlfriend would get into it, like it would take me forever to apologize. What can I say? I'm a Pisces, man. 99% of what they say in the horoscopes are true. We're stubborn. But you know, as of late, I've learned to swallow my pride, drop my ego, and apologize for my less than perfect behavior. My girlfriend, on the other hand, mm, she hasn't quite mastered that technique yet. I mean, she'll, she'll get there eventually. Uh, it just, it, it just kind of takes her a while. Granted, she isn't commonly known for messing up in our relationship. That, that title kind of goes to me. So I guess we could call that a lack of experience on her part. I don't know if it's just me or the women that I've dated, but I'm starting to see a pattern here that most women suck when it comes to apologizing. Like how come when a woman messes up in a relationship, they always give this half-assed apology. Look, I'm sorry if what I said hurts you, okay? I didn't know you'd be so sensitive. But when a man messes up, he's damn near gonna sing you jingles for three hours until you'll even look at him in the face again. Is it too late not to say sorry? But it's too late to apologize. Hello from the other side. <coughs> oh. Anyway, back to what I was saying. So last year, my life coach had me write down a list of all the people that I had some sort of grudge against. Just basically anyone that I had any kind of negative feelings towards. I had to write it down. And for each person on the list, I had to go out and get a bunch of potatoes. Basically, if you have a grudge against three people, then you would get three potatoes, and then you would write the name of each person. And the objective was for me to carry the bag of potatoes wherever I went. Now, the bag of potatoes is obviously just a metaphor for the baggage that you carry around with you by having a grudge against all these people for however long. Just because you don't physically feel the weight of the grudge that you hold against somebody, it doesn't mean that it doesn't still have a heavy impact on your life. For this week's homework assignment, I ask that you guys at least try this exercise for one day. It doesn't necessarily have to be a grudge, it could be anger, it could be jealousy, it could be whatever. Any kind of negative feeling that you have towards somebody, get your ass a potato. A Let me emphasize, a clear plastic bag, okay? Don't try to like find a loophole and be like, oh, I'm gonna put it in my gym bag or my purse. No, that's cheating, okay? I had to do, I had to put it in a clear plastic bag and look ridiculous for a whole week. So if you, if you guys are doing this, you guys gotta do the same thing that I did, okay? You gotta look stupid along with me. Yeah, people are probably gonna look at you funny, but just, just tell them that you, you just went grocery shopping and this is all you needed. Tell them you're making like, sweet potato pie or something. That's pretty much it um, in regards to that. I also have to mention that apparently people aren't getting notified when I put up new videos. I've been advised to tell you guys that uh, if you click on that little bell icon thing, it will notify you via email whenever I post a new video. If you guys are still rocking with me and you guys care about the things that I have to say or the things that I have to post, then uh, click that, get notified. I wanna thank you guys all for uh, watching the video and liking the video. I know you guys are giving me the likes. I appreciate it. Add me to Instagram. Join the Facebook group, Project Push Start. I'm your boy Tactics. Peace, and I'm out.